In this video, we're gonna talk about Gunslinger Spawn's Vengeance, which ignites a manhunt. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 33, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Gunslinger Spawn, Gunslinger checks another name off his list, but unbeknownst to him, the law is closing in on him fast. So soon after the death of his sister, Gunslinger made a promise to her. A promise to hunt down every last person who had anything to do with sniffing around such a beautiful life. Did I say sniffing? I meant snuffing. Like, so pretty much they end her and he's going after revenge. So tonight he'll cross another name off that list and we see bro right there being crossed off. Though it will do nothing to quell his anger. And he's still pissed looking at this bro just having a head just shot off of him. Soon Amy, this will all be over. For now. Well, for now, we got that camera just looking at Gunslinger Spawn because he's not really aware of modern technology and we don't know who's eyeing that camera right now. But for now, revenge still consumes him. And he goes off on bro and leaves and he just hopes that he rots in hell. He leaves. And though he wants to tell himself tonight meant something, he won't give himself that satisfaction because he hates the fact that many of those he's hunting are still alive back in the 1800s. He swears he'll get back there soon. He rides on that horse that Dakota gave him a few issues back, but until then, he'll continue to navigate through this strange, modern time. And for now, since he became a mere mortal, he needs to get some rest so he can think better and plan his next move better too. So he goes up and sees at a bench and he sees that Linda is there. He's like, I'm surprised to see you here. Thought you'd be long gone. I should be. And Gunslinger's like, well, I'm glad you're not. Is that right? I didn't know you smoked, but today I picked up the head with all the bull jive you put me through. And Gunslinger spawns like, yo, give me an extra one. Oh, cut the crap, Javi. What's on your mind? You, Linda, you've been on my mind. I've dragged you into my problems. And no, 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 no. Linda's like, don't even go there. We all got problems. We all got to deal with them. We just don't walk around with guns shooting people to solve them, all right? I understand you lost some family. I know what that's like. Believe me, someday I'll let you in on that. But I'm still too mad at you to get that personal. So, you know, let's stick to that. Let's stick to you. And Linda's like, I spoke with that friend of yours, Wahia. He said you're different somehow. And what do you mean by that? And Vera's like, it's a little complicated, you know? Well, let's start with something simple. You find that banker guy you wanted? Javier has that smirk on his face like, nah, I looked. But nothing turned up. It was a quiet evening, really. Quiet with that headshot and that camera. You know, I don't know what's going to go on with that camera, but the camera ain't good. But Gunslinger Spawn's like, look, I'm going to keep looking, you know, got to be honest about that. Well, and I got to be honest with you, too. I want to go home and have some normality in my life. I got a job, friends, and I need to get back to. I'll drop you off wherever you want. And Javier's like, you've been kind, Linda, but I won't bother. And Javier's like, wait a minute, what's that noise? And Linda's like, I don't know, just the police or fire trucks, I guess. Police? Like, sheriffs? <laughs> yeah, he's not really aware of the times now, but the cops show up and they want his hands in the air like he does care. And Linda's like, Javier, get your damn hands up. And he knows he did something. I said, get your hands in the air so we can see him. And Javier's like, nah, we ain't doing this, bro. Grab my hand, Linda. What? We don't know who these people are. Just grab my arm. And he takes her arm, uses that table as a shield as they go off on them bullets on him. And so Javier's like, the door, get that door, get in there, cover yourself, slams the door, and ducks for cover as these bullets just go flying above him. And Javier knows that she can't stay there, so she has to use the back door, and because it's locked, he kicks the door open and she takes off. So the cops have no choice but to smash it in, then take cover. So Javier's like, look, Linda, my pet is going to help you, Linda, so stand back. And that little horse, <laughs> or that little lizard actually, just moves into this giant horse, and Linda's like, this is crazy. And Javier's like, this is your only chance. So he lifts her up, and she's like, I can't. He's like, you must get that butt on there and hold on as tight as you can. So Linda doesn't know it, but the horse will take her directly to Wahia, Gunslinger's shaman his friend. So for Javier, if he's to survive, his choices are limited. He ducks, gets his bag, they go in, and some things are about to go down. But they have to retreat because, yeah, some things did go down. Javier darts out the back door, but he sees some police coming in his direction. He's only got one direction left to go, and that is up as he makes his way out of Dodge. And they see him on the roof, and he knows he's on the roof. And the roof is about to be on fire in a minute. So he dons his mask, not wanting him to see his face. But it's far too late for that now, because that camera in the office where he murked boy over there, they saw his face clear. That's how they got his ass over there. So now the officers are like, cut off both ends, create a perimeter, clear every guest out now. SWAT will be here in three minutes. 
So security cameras have already caught what he looks like because Javier's biggest weakness since being pulled from the time rip has been his ignorance of how modern technology works. Not only do police know what he looks like, they also know that he's a cold blooded murderer who just killed one of their high profile residents. So they'll do everything in their powers to bring him to justice or use deadly force if necessary. One arm now is now useless and is now combined with the leg pinned in the fallen metal beams. He can't move, so he tries to get himself unstuck and SWATs arrive and they're ready to go in. So amid the chaotic happenings here, more reinforcements come screaming into play, but Gunstick Respond just can't get his freaking leg out of the way. His leg won't budge, so they go. They want to go in, though in the end, neither Gunslinger nor the police needed to work out how to end this horrifying standoff. They don't know what they're going to do, but instead, gravity took care of that for them because I know that I said the roof is on fire, but it's not. The roof just actually collapsed and Gunslinger Spawn is hurt, so they need to call an ambulance. And that is the end of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 33, Gunslinger's Vengeance Ignites a Manhunt. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in the description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in the description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.